You're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 8 to the power of x minus 2. This is equal to 48. So it is the value of x. Now let's provide a solution from here. This exponential equation is of the form a to the power of n minus m, which we can express as a to the power of n divided by a to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 8 to the power of x divided by 8 to the power of 2. This is equal to 48. Now, 48 is a whole number, so this is over 1. Let's cross multiply from here so that we have 8 to the power of x times 1. This is equal to 48 multiplied by 8 to the power of 2. To solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides so that we have log a to the power of x. This is equal to log 48 multiplied by 8 to the power of 2. So log a to the power of x, this is in the form of log a to the power of n, which can be expressed as n log a. Applying this power root property, then log a to the power of x becomes x log 8, this is equal to log 48 multiplied by 8 to the power of 2. So let's divide both signs by log 8. Here we have log 8. So we can simplify log 8 and log 8 here, so that now x is equal to log 48 multiplied by 8 to the power of 2. Everything here divided by log 8. Now, log 48 times 8 to the power of 2. This is in the form of log a multiplied by b, which can be expressed as log a plus log b. Now, let's apply this logarithm property from here. Now, applying this logarithm property, we have x is equal to log 48 divided by log 8, then plus log 8 to the power of 2, divided by log 8. So let's apply the power root property here, that is log 8 to the power of 2. This will become, now this is log 48, divided by log 8, then plus 2, log 8. Log 8 to the power of 2 becomes 2, log 8, divided by log 8. So we can simplify log 8 and log 8 here, so that x is equal to 2 plus, this is log 48 divided by log 8. We can express 48, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3 times 2 times 3. So let's substitute this so that we have x is equal to 2 plus this is log 2 to the power of 3 times 2 times 3 everything here divided by log 8 which is 2 to the power of 3 so again log 2 to the power of 3 times 2 times 3 this is in the form of log a times b which can be expressed as log a plus log b So we have x is equal to 2 plus this is rock 2 to the power of 3 divided by rock 2 to the power of 3 then plus rock 2 divided by rock 2 to the power of 3 then plus rock 3 divided by rock 2 to the power of 3. The next step is to apply the power root property here so that we have x is equal to 2 plus 3 this is rock 2 divided by 3 rock 2 then plus rock 2 divided by 3 rock 2 then plus rock 3 divided by 3 rock 2 so we can simplify rock 2 and rock 2 here and also rock 2 and rock 2 here and 3 and 
3. So that now we have x is equal to 2 plus 1 plus 1 over 3. Then plus 1 over 3. This is row 3 divided by row 2. Now we have 2 plus 1. This is 3. 3 plus 1 over 3. And this is equal to 10 over 3. Then plus 1 over 3. Rogue 3 over rogue 2. This is in the form of rogue A over rogue B. Which we can express as rogue A to base B. So let's apply this property. So that we have a third. This is rogue 3 to base 2. And since a third is common here, we can factor out 1 over 3. Into the parentheses, this is 10 plus this is row 3 to base 2. This is the value of x. This is the value of x. So let's verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation. So let's verify here. Now if you recall, we have that 8 to the power of x subtract 2. This should give us a value of 48. Let's substitute x here so that we have 8 to the power of 1 over 3. Into the parentheses, this is 10 plus rock 3 to base 2. Cross the parentheses, minus 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 48. So let's express 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So we have 2 to the power of 3 times 1 over 3. Into the parentheses, this is 10 plus this is row 3 to base 2. Cross the parentheses, minus 2. This should give us a value of 48. Now, 3 and 3 here simplifies. So what we have 2 to the power of 10 plus this is row 3 to base 2. Then minus 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. And this should give us a value of 48. So 10 minus 6, this is the same thing as 4. So we have 10 minus 6, this is 4. Then plus row 3 to base 2. And this should give us a value of 48. So 2 to the power of 4 plus rock 3 to base 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which can be expressed as a to the power of n times a to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of rock 3 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 48. So 2 to the power of 4 this is equal to 16, okay? And we have that 2 to the power of rogue 3 to base 2. This is in the form of a to the power of rogue b to base a. And this is supposed to give us a value of b. And therefore, 2 to the power of rogue 3 to base 2, this should give us a value of 3. Now, let's substitute 16 and 3 here so that we have 16 multiplying by 3 this is supposed to give us a value of 48 16 times 3 this is 48 which is equal to 48 and this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this implies that the value of x here which is equal to 1 over 3 into the parentheses 10 plus rook 3 to base 2 actually satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and country subscribe. Like this video and country subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.